Hi everybody, welcome to Blue Water Oracle and a reading. Um, this is one of the first videos I've done. I did one other, but you didn't see it yet. So today we're going to do a reading by video and I hope it works. Keep our fingers crossed. So today's a new moon. It's in April. It's April 7th where I am and it was a snowy day yesterday. So today we're looking at uh, snow melting, rain coming in, but at the same time, all of the birds are out where I live. Uh, I saw a red squirrel today, so there's lots of nature abounding, telling us that spring is definitely here. And as we're in a new moon as well, there can sometimes feel like a shift in energy, new things coming, or just in a new awareness that we want to be aware of. So I thought this would be a good time for me to try something new, which is a video reading and to give you some information from my cards. So as always, I use different decks. I have three decks that I currently use. Earth Magic by Stephen Farmer and the Soul Coaching and the Gateway Oracle cards by Denise Lin. And all of them are published by Hay House. So we're going to see which cards want to come out and play. I haven't pulled them yet, so I don't know how many. I think it's going to be two. That feels like a good place to start for today. And we'll see when information comes up. As with all readings, you take only what feels right and true to you. Make sure it speaks to you. If for any reason what I pull related to the card really doesn't feel like it speaks to you today, do not worry about it. That is a good thing. It means that you're in touch with yourself. The other option that you have is that when you look at the, the reading, when you look at the cards, see what else comes up. Take a breath. Take a moment. If you have a notepad, maybe jot down some ideas or some images that come up. You can definitively be your own reader and your own oracle. Sometimes we feel too close to our own stuff, so it helps to have someone else to be an interpreter, but you will always get your own ideas and info and you definitely want to respect that. And when I do readings, I work with the cards, with the universal energy, with spirit, and as well as with the person that I'm reading and their own soul. So let's go. So take a deep breath if you're watching this with me and just breathe into the idea of new moon energy, springtime. What is there to come up with for you? Deep breath, and I'm looking at my cards. Which ones want to come out and play? Okay, got two decks, so we're going to do two cards and we'll see where we go from there. All right, so you just keep breathing, relaxing, and when I do cards, I shuffle from one hand to the other, so you won't see it all necessarily on the video. And I keep going until, like now, I need to stop. So I've picked the first card. And what you can't see behind the scenes is I have a couple of candles. I have a cloth I tend to use. I have a selenite wand, which is a type of salt crystal. And I also have a few other crystals around because I love them. And because I like their energy and they like to come out and play when I do readings as well. Second card. What do we all need to know? As much for me as for you. What do we need to know today? New moon in April. Springtime. There we go. All right. So I've laid out the two cards so that you can see the back of the cards. This is the back of the gateway cards. And I'll show you the back of the Earth Magic deck. Grounding, the tree, the roots. All right. So that's what I see laid out one in front of me both of them in front of me okay so let's see what cards what want to come up so the first one is the earth magic card i'm gonna flip it over Ooh, all right powerful card for today they're all powerful in their own ways so this is the volcano card and it's volatility is a secondary word there so this is one of those cards that when we look at sometimes people go "Ooh, you know their reaction is a bit intense but it doesn't have to be. So let's see what the cards, this card wants to tell us today. It's a time of shifting. 
it's a time of breaking through. Oh, that's neat. So breaking forward. So when you look at the picture of the volcano, and you know we have images in our mind of what the volcanoes are, but what it's bringing my attention to is this idea of breaking through the rock and breaking through the lava that perhaps is hardened and made into rock already there. So what do we need to break through? So when you think on your own life, when you think on your own journey at the moment, what is asking you to break through? So there's a term on one of my other cards in the soul coaching, so maybe it wants to play as well just by term. Literally, breakthrough is the word. But here it's separating it into the two words. What do you want to break through? And when we want a breakthrough, have a breakthrough, it's because we've accomplished something, we've pushed through for something. So take a moment, again, if you have a notepad next to you, what is it time to break through? Is it fear? Is it a project that's been sitting in the back of your mind, but you have not moved forward with it? For some people, I feel as though this is also going to be a really strong connection and an important point in a romantic relationship. Doesn't necessarily feel like it would be a new one. Of course, that could be in your life. But particularly for people who are in a longer term relationship, it's time to break through some of the, the stagnant energy, some of the routine, and bring up some of this heat, some of this passion, some of this reconnecting. What you can't see, and it would be a bit hard on the video, is within the smoke of the volcano on this, there's actually two people, two faces, in a fairly passionate position. Um, so... I feel as though that's a part also for some people. So if you're in a long-term relationship and maybe your communication is not so good, your connection is not so good, maybe you're not feeling that, that warmth that was there at one point. This is an invitation to say, what do I need to break through? Have you got a bit lazy in how you communicate with each other, how you appreciate each other? Have you got a bit lazy in what you say to each other? So this is a time to break through and make some efforts to move into that. So volcano, less about the volatility today and more about the breaking through. But of course that can feel like it'll shift your energies. I would imagine that if one is near a volcano, when it blows, it must shake everything around it. But remember that you're supported and remember that you have your own guidance as you move forward. So be aware of that, okay? Be aware of what is your guidance to break through and then go from there. Let's see what the second card is, okay? Nice! The second card is Manifesting Dreams. All right, it's a beautiful sort of harvesty kind of card. So if you think of harvest is after the effort of planting, after the effort of sowing the land, preparing the land, taking care of the trees, taking in orchards, for example, taking care of the plants. Now you get to reap the harvest. So this is a really interesting card after something so powerful as breaking through and being in the energy of a volcano, being in the energy of that lava pushing up and pushing through. So that suggests to me that there are certain things that are really sitting under the surface that are trying to get your attention, that are trying to get you to move forward with, whether it's work or personal or definitely a relationship for some of you. The affirmation on the second card, on the Manifesting Dreams card, is my dreams are coming true. So what great way to move forward into a new moon energy, into springtime. And I think it's also a reminder that even if you don't see all of the results right now, that you can be taking these steps forward and all of those steps are moving towards the harvest. 
Whereas if you leave the dome on that volcano and you leave all the rock face stuck and solid, you're not necessarily going to take the steps to move forward in terms of breaking through and towards that harvest of manifesting your dreams. They can always be there and they can change in an instant. But there is a call here to shake things up a little bit, to move certain things forward, take action steps, and be aware of what is sitting under the surface, that heat, that heart energy. What is your heart telling you? And then you'll be able to move closer to manifesting your dreams and getting the harvest of whatever your dreams are. Remember that this is a general reading, so you can reflect on it yourself, take your own info. When I do personal readings, we go into a little bit more detail and try to pinpoint things for the individual. But I hope this gives you some food for thought, some ingenuity, some ideas as you move forward, and definitely some encouragement on your journey. This is Sheila for Blue Water Oracle, and I'm wishing you well on this new moon day. Blessings.